and right yes yes okay so pabni is a bi intelligence tool so in the industry currently we have more bi tools but as of now tabu is the leading bi tool where we can figure out either with bi reports or for the analytics purpose okay uh, we use another uh, rather than our python or all right these have more other uh, inbuilt systems where we can do it in a bit of time just like drag and drop that's it normally whenever you are using python pandas or a, uh, any bookcase okay what we use we need to write program right for each and every color coding and for each and every axis we need to give the details and everything we need to be specify in our program so that it would be inculcated in our graph right and to make any changes it will be taking more time so instead of so that is why this data visualization is totally taken care by another department which is known as bi okay which is known as business intelligence department mostly where there will be which specialist where they will be taking care of all the visualizations that need to be taken care and there are couple of visualizations which we can speak of one is analytical visualization which means where it will be focusing on the analytics part okay so it would be morely into looking in, looking into deep into the data and and getting the findings okay and the second one would be giving the all the comprehensive data where the people would be or the top management will be doing the uh, what you say scaling of the data so whatever the required right they will be looking we will be giving the complete data they will be looking either for country or a particular state or for a particular city or for a particular region okay where we will be dropping all the data okay or the second one would be analytic form of data where we are trying to fetch answers for a given question okay why the profit is less for it, where the where there is a sales are high okay are there any particular products are like that okay there are few things okay we'll be also looking at both of them okay and uh, coming to tabu right tabu is the leading tool for the business intelligence the other than that we have uh, looker clicksense which are competitors for these and also power bi which is a threat and to install this tabu desktop right so you can go to tabu.com then go to products okay we have tabu desktop okay tabu public so tabu desktop is where we get the free license for 14 days and this is a desktop application okay so here you can start your free trial you will be getting this one and to get this uh, license reversal it will be costing too much hello sir yeah hello Yes, sir. Yeah, someone is asking something. Uh, Pujita. Hi, Pujita. Pujita. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, any questions? Uh, not yet, sir. I'm just listening right now. It's okay. a bit. Your voice is a bit low. Hello. Hi, Pujita. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Hi, good morning. So, any questions, Pujita, or uh... I didn't listen anything till now, sir. <laughs> okay, okay. So, to download the desktop application, right from the tab, you need to go to this page. Okay, tabu.com. Okay, go to tabu.com. Go to products, and the products that you need would be desktop and public. Okay. okay in desktop you will be able to get a free trial for 14 days guys okay this okay. would be for 14 free days trial and you can have n number of versions okay, okay. means for every for every version you can have 14 days there are n number of versions okay like currently we are having 2022.3 okay? okay so in a similar way you will be having more versions and for each version you can have 14 days of trial 
So, sir, what happens after the 14 days? After 14 days, you need to get the license or it would be automatically closed. So, okay. again, if so we want to... Uh, so, don't we have anything free sort of thing permanently, sir? Yes, permanently you need to use Tabio Public. Okay. Okay. Where you will be having like your social profile at Facebook, LinkedIn. Yes. Okay. This is your Tabio Public. Anyone can see your data. Anyone can access your information. Okay. Yes, okay. they want to know your, uh, email, uh, your username. They'll be able to see each and everything from your side, whatever you've done the visualizations. Until okay. you published, okay. If you haven't published it right, okay. it would be it your side only, okay. Okay. Unless so you may know who I'm speaking to. My name would be Durga Prasad. So sir? I had, okay. Durga Prasad. Okay, okay, sir. So I have nearly ten years of uh, BI experience. Currently, a team lead, uh, a couple okay. of projects. Okay, okay, sir. So, sir, would you like us to? Uh, so the Tableau public is on, uh, it's not an app or anything, right? Uh, it's an online, it's uh, It's just a OLAP. Okay. OLAP. Okay, so it's, it's it's like just as same functions as Tableau, just that anybody can see your data, right? Yes, Tableau public is where once you publish, right? Anyone can see your data. Okay. okay. See, I have done here about 90 plus visualizations over here. Okay. okay, but I haven't published them. Okay. So it will be still under my name and in my system itself. Okay. okay. Until you publish, it will be there. Okay. But in case if there's something happened to your system, right? Again, you need to do all the 92. Okay. Okay. The only thing is if you have any data that need not to be shared to someone else, or if you are looking at a data privacy or data security level, which need not to be shared, then it is not advised to do on Tableau Public. Okay, always use a desktop portion. And if okay, there is sir. no such concern on Tableau on uh, data privacy, right? Then you can use Tableau Public. Okay. That is the only yes. thing for the desktop. It would be fourteen days free trial, and uh, for this one, right? It would be there won't be anything. Just you download plug and play. That's it. Just okay, download sir. it. Click on Tableau. Go to Tableau Public. You'll be able to download it give you mail ID and create your account and it will be forever your uh, account just like your facebook account okay sir sir and i have tableau public on my desktop sir i have downloaded mm -hmm. it okay but i like i just try to attend a free demo from scalar but that day it was it was not at all proper so i was half and half at least by the end of the session i was able to download and install this uh, tableau public sir that's it Okay. But but I was not able to uh, do any vis visualization or create any dashboard with that. First of all, I'm having problem with this connection only. Okay. Will you able to share your screen now? Is it there in your system that you're logging in? Ah, yes, sir. I'll just, yeah, yeah. But uh, I didn't, I was not able to do any work. Like That's I, fine. yeah. Yes, That's sir. I'll Let's share. share your screen. Okay. I'll yes, listen. sir. So yes, sir. Don't worry. We'll if someone has already installed, right? So okay. you'll be having also practical knowledge how to do that. Okay, so sir. We move it. Mostly, I will be like, uh, we'll make practice from your side so that you will be having an answer. Okay, That's sir. And if you have already installed, right? Yeah. So let's share you then. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Share your screen. Yes, sir. Uh, and then. then and sir, so it's giving me the option to download Tableau Public on desktop. Do you do you think I should do that? Yes, yes, yes. Even if it's an uh, online, Sir. right? You need to have inside your desktop, okay? Yeah. So later, once you publish, right? Everything will be in your desktop only till you work. So okay. that's what I said. You can also have it on premises. Okay. So can you make me the host, sir? Okay. Okay, just give me a second. Let me... Yes, sir. Sir, so you will be taking class on behalf of Swapnil, sir, sir? Yes, for this one, for the tablet. Okay. Yeah, you are the first visitor. Okay, sir. Thank you. So I hope you already got this downloads and everything was done, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Can you so see my screen, the, sir? Uh, so let me show you. This is how the interface looks like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
So, uh, Pujita, you already attended, I think, some demo, right? So, let's be the same with the right. Okay. Yeah. So, right. Uh, this is how the overview looks like. Okay. If you want to go through each and everything, right? Go to more over here, two way server to more. Sir? There is a more option over here. Yeah, yeah. Time. Yes, sir. Click on this. So, yes, currently, sir. you have only three connectors, right? Okay. But in real time, while you're working on it, uh, if you download the free version also, you'll okay. be having nearly 64 plus connectors over here. Okay. So you can have connection for AWS or Microsoft or Access, okay, anything, name anything, okay. You'll okay. be able to connect those sheets, okay. Either it could be SAP, Oracle, SQLDB, Microsoft SQL, okay. Name okay. any connectors, name any other DB, okay. Okay, you'll sorry. be able to connect this and there is directly connectors over there. What you need to do is you need to just click on them and give the username password just like you are logging into the DB and run the script and you'll okay. be able to get the data inside. Okay. okay For sorry. any visualization part, right? There will be three steps. One, getting the data. Okay. Making the changes. And okay. the third one would be visualization. Okay. Okay. So go to Microsoft Excel over here. Click on the Microsoft Excel. Yes, sir. So while you download, right? There will yeah, be yeah. This is sample superstore. Okay. So okay. this is something known as sample superstore, which would already there. So yes, can you go to documents now? Go to documents. Yes, sir. Go down. There is my tab view repository, right? Yes, sir. You are able to say my tab view repository. Okay, that is the place. Whatever the thing that you downloaded will be there. Go to my okay. tab view repository. Yes, sir. Click on that. Yes, sir. I clicked on so it. So there are group paths. If you break any group paths, it will be there. If you map any sources, data sources, click on data sources. Okay. Yeah. Remove this file name and everything. Nothing is there, sir. Here. Nothing is there. That means you haven't downloaded properly. Okay. Go to the repository once again. Yes, sir. Are there anything in extensions and map sources? This is tabulary tabular yeah, repository. In the tabular repository. Go to yeah. extensions. Okay. Nothing, sir. So this was not been do properly downloaded. Okay. okay. Okay, sir. So you need to download that. Okay, go to by tabular repository and see any other thing that you have over here. Go down. I'll so check go it, back, sir. go back. Go to documents again. Okay, sir. Go down. Is there any tabular repository that was this? Okay. No. No, in documents, in documents. See, is there any in documents? One second. Yeah. Is there any tabu repository that's downloaded again? Here, this no, is my tabu repository. Nothing, sir. Only once. Okay. Then how do you get this uh, tabu superstore? You downloaded from someone else then. Go to, go to desktop and connect the microphone. Sample superstore from net typing, sir. Okay. So normally this whenever you, get, you downloaded or have you public or these things, right? Okay. So you will be able to get this sample superstore data and there will be few other data source where you will be able to get, okay? Okay. Uh, this will be available in your tabu repository under doubt, uh, sorry, data source section, okay? Okay. So this I have downloaded separately, sir. I didn't get Yeah, that. that's what I can see, okay? Normally, if this is not properly installed, so okay. if it is properly installed, right, okay. there will be in data repository, all the files that you did, all the things that you have done, okay. okay even while installation, you need to have the logs. Okay. There are no logs here. That means it was not properly installed. Okay. So what shall I do now? That's fine. Go to sample superstore, open it. So now it is processing. Okay. Now we have these things. Okay. So. There are 13 fields and 994 rows in this sample superstore. Can you open the sheet sample superstore again? I mean, uh, with normal Excel, not over here. Just open okay, the sir. Excel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are unable to see the screen, uh, Ujita. Okay, one second, sir. One second.
can you see now sir now we are still able to see that yes now we are able to see see okay, over sir. here we have a single sheet guys okay yeah so we have a single sheet this is known as orders basically okay okay so normally the tabular data store will be totally different okay okay so this is from united states and different different cities different different states different yeah. regions categories okay we have three sub categories we have someone else okay quantity these are the measures okay you are able to see from a to i right what are these these are alpha numeric right yeah yes. are alphabetical so these are known as blue how do you say blue pills okay or dimensions inside tab okay okay what are the measures that which we have sales quantity discount profit which are numeric in nature which we can sum right so yeah. you may have postal code or numbers but we can't sum it yes yes it, right yes sir and if you even if you have serial number we won't be able to add it if you have order id or any yeah. other id we won't be adding it because that is not the nature of that one right of yes, that sir. column so the nature based on the nature of the column we will be dividing into two types one which we have uh, numbers and which could be sum up okay okay are called as measures and the rest are called dimensions and these okay. measures are also known as green pill okay and these dimensions are known as blue pill okay okay sir. so now you are able to see the data right so this is a one sheet now close it yes sir and go to tab view So just minimize it. Yes, sir. Can you see, sir? No, I'm still seeing this one. Let me We are still seeing the Excel file only. One second, sir. See, now normally we have only single one, right? So okay. that is why we are able to get one sample store, one sample store over here. Okay, because this we have single sheet over here. But if you have multiple sheets, okay, this would be sheet one, this would be sheet two, this would be sheet three, and every data lies over here, it won't come to here. Okay, why? These are considered as tables, guys. Okay, you know, database tables, right? as we have single table, it has directly loaded. But when we have three, right, it will be taking we should give this order okay whether we need to give this or no okay okay then this is known as canvas okay any way any place where we start working right is known okay. as canvas we need to drag this sheet to appear this format okay whatever you are seeing right this format will be able to see only if we drag this to over here if, okay as it has you as you know data source you have only single sheet right single excel sheet yeah if you have multiple sheet the data will be relying over here we need to give this over here and for the sheets right we need these are considered as tables basically okay. Okay, so this sir. is table one table two table three so if i want to use the data from table one and all the three right i need to make the joins just like our data database joins okay, okay. there should be a common thing between these two okay there should be a primary key and this is how the joins looks and we need to drag those both and basing on the given column right we need to we need to join them okay basing yes. on the common column okay just to remember okay yes, so in sir. case if you want to want if you want to use on multiple sheet this is how it would be done okay? okay so everything would be over here you need to drag this then only you'll be able to get this and this is how the visualization can you keep five over here and here you are able to see 100 right just let me annotate sir make it 10 over here where sir on the 100 not able to see ah, okay you're not able to see okay. yes sir yes sir one second yeah. If you click 10 or 5, right, you will be able to see only 10 rows, okay? Okay. So just like your pandas, right? We will now pandas, we will be having the head 5, 10, 5, right? Yeah, but yeah. We will be having only 100. So out of 994 rows, you will be able to see 100. 
but sometimes we don't even require 100 we may look into five or ten data okay okay so we can make only five or ten over here so you'll be able to see this one and you are able to see here the field types right this sir yes sir. Here, where is annotate Sir, can you show from your screen? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let me, yeah. Shall I stop the share? Now you are able to see. Uh, I take you. Oh, just give me a second. Can you make me host? Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir, you're the host now. So this is how the screen looks like, okay. So let me go to data source, okay. Let me take a new So this is the initial field, right? okay. And let me go to Microsoft Excel. Okay. Yes, sir. There is a sample store over here, right? This is in my data source. Okay. Okay. This is how it looks like. Tab your repository data source. In the data source, you'll be having more. I'm using 2022.2. And this is the US version of sample store. Okay, sir. Okay. So it will take some time to process the request. And you will be getting the home screen of the tab. So this okay. is the data source. So now shall I uninstall and install it again, sir? Yeah, if you uninstall, right, it will be better. So now you are able to see, right? There, are, there is a plain screen over here. Yeah, it's you already got the one okay because you have a single one, but but for me, there are three pages one is orders, peoples, and returns. Okay, so what I need to do, I need to drag orders over here. Okay, saying the drag the tables here, so now I'll drag the orders to here. Now I'll be getting a preview, so that means it is loading the data. Okay, okay, now I can see the sheet one and the canvas has totally changed it. Yeah. Okay. And if I update, right, I will be getting how many rows I have. See, there are 21 fields, okay, and 10194 rows. And okay. these are the rows, row ID, order ID, date, shipping day. Okay. And if I make only... See, I'm getting only 10 over here, okay? Only 10, okay? And here, let me drag up. So these are the 21 fields it is speaking about. This is known as metadata, data about the data. So what are the fields that it have? What is the data type that it is speaking about? Okay. Okay, here shipment date comes from this table and the field is shipping date, okay? And similarly, what are the tables? Okay, let me... Just to ensure, okay, let me drag peoples over here. Sir, so these orders, people, returns are the tables from sample superstore data? No, these are the tables from orders table, okay? Okay, sample superstore is different, orders is different. From there, we have three tables, orders table, people's table, returns table. From yes, sir, that's what these three are from sample superstore only, no, sir. Yes. All are from sample uh, this from okay. Okay, your voice is breaking, sir. So is it audible now? Yeah, now okay. Okay. See, we have created one thing. Okay, here what happened? It created a relationship. Okay, yeah. many relationship, but we can also make a join. How to make a join? Let me remove this. Okay. Both are same as if it is a relationship or a join, 
both are same as your left joint. Okay. Okay. But the only thing is, in the left joint, you will be having a single table. But when we have a relationship, right, you will be having two different tables and also the left joint. Okay. Okay. So let me remove this. So this is the left joint plus all the three. You are able to see over here. Now what I'll do is I'll just open the orders. So always tab your desktop would be more faster than server. I mean tab your public. Okay. Okay. Now. Just drag over here. See, now you've got an inner joint, right? Defaultly, it takes region. It identifies region is the common one, okay? Okay. And it gives you. And if you want to change this from inner joint to any other thing. So you are able to get all the four joints and you can make whatever you require. Either you require left join or right join or the full outer, okay? Basic okay. on your requirements, you can make these things, okay? So okay. Let me make a full join. That means from orders and people, all the uh, columns will be appearing here. Okay. So there are 21 fields, right? Previously, now it became 23. That means there are 21 plus three fields from people. There is one common field, right? Which okay. is region. So we have 23 fields now. Okay. And we have only single table, which is of full outer joint. Okay. Okay. In previously, when we use this relationship, right? It would be order table and people's table and order plus people table, which is a left joint, basically. Yes. Okay. And if you have any monthly data, okay, let's say I'm having month data, uh, monthly data from May. Uh, there is a date in next sheet, we have April date. Okay, for the next we have May, for the next we have June. For each and every sheet, we are having monthly data with similar, similar columns, okay? Got it? Yes, sir. Let's say we are having uh, sales, okay? Sales for this month, okay? Sales order ID, shipment day, and profit sales and discount per month of April in one sheet. And the second sheet consists May, and the third sheet consists of uh, June. Then we need to, there is something known as union option. Okay, or once we drag over here, right, there will be an option known as union. When we drop down, you can able to see drag table to union, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. So that means we are making union. That means instead of aligning the data, okay, here we have increased the fields, right? Yeah. By join, we have increased the fields. And there is no increase in the rows. Okay. Right? But yes. when we use a join, there will be increase in rows, but not on fields. Okay. Okay. Yes. So let's go to our first sheet and let's make our first visualization. So let me remove also this because there will be a bit confusion at the initial stage. Yeah. Just about Sir, how this uh, Like yeah. uh, uh, how many classes uh, will be dealing with Tableau, sir? So Swapin, sir. So this is an overview, right? <coughs> so Pujita, for Tableau, yes. we, we discussed only one class, right? So okay, it's okay. one class, yes. Okay, so okay. Covering each okay. and everything, we'll be covering with the basics and two bit advanced level okay okay why i ask this oh, so okay. that we can install it now and start working parallel don't worry you will have the video right okay and if okay. you have any questions i'm there i can invite sir also next time no worries okay sir okay yeah. yes sir okay now here so don't try to do parallelly okay first no, you sir. watch yeah and you can... as per sir uh, my installation is not proper so i have to uninstall and install it no problem yeah this is something so see when you are in any class right focus on what is going on because anyway classes are getting getting recorded okay right? yes, you sir. can follow the same step later okay yeah. sir so here you are able to see three tabs right yes sir on the ground now both of them. okay so these are known as 
worksheet, okay, dashboard, and the storage. So okay. storage where you will be able to create any visualization or report. Only one thing, okay. Either you can make a visualization, one visualization, or one report, okay. But in dashboard, okay, let's say the view of dashboard, okay. This is how the sheet looks like. This is how a dashboard looks like. So in dashboard, you can have multiple sheets, means all the worksheets that you created, right? You can embed it over here. You can create actions and you can make filters across each and every dashboard, okay? And in the end, you can create a user story for yourself, which gives us an overall picture, okay? Okay. This is just like your presentation to the management. Okay. Okay, sir. So let's go to the sheet one, okay? And yes, let's sir. see what are the things that you can have. So just like in Python, we have category, uh, we have variables, right? And we have what you say, types, basically. The Boolean type. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, in the similar way, we have few types over here, which is known as, here we can say this one is, right? Text, basically it's a string. Okay. okay? And here you can see a calendar type, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. So this is a calendar. Okay. There is something known as date. This is basically date. And there is something known as date and time. Okay, where you'll be having a small clock over here. And how to convert this? There is something known as change data type, right? So okay. you can convert into date and time. You will be able to see there is also a small clock over here. Ah, yes, sir. Yes. So those calendar with also this one, okay? Okay. So let me remove that. We don't require the data type, it should be there. Okay. And all the numbers would be on hashtag. Okay. That doesn't mean those are dimensions. Okay. okay. Row yeah. ID consists of numbers. That is why it is on numbers. But this is considered as a dimension because there won't be any aggregation. Means that we won't be able to sum up all the row IDs, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. And similarly, these are which we have this one, right? The global. That means which we have geographical ID. So we'll be seeing one geographic ID, one bar graph, and one scatter plot. Okay. okay. And we'll create a dashboard for now. Okay. And you are able to see, right? Discount sales. Okay. Yeah, and all these are green in color. Sales over here. Pardon? All these are green in color. Yes, all in green color because these are measures. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. It means which we can sum up. You can see these profit discount sales quantity. These are numbers and we can sum up it. And if I click double click on sales, right? Yeah. So what happened over here? It gone to rows and what I got is a number. Okay. Okay. It is known as aggregation. Means once we click on sales, this will be aggregated to the highest level. What is the highest level? That means sum of sales. Okay. So if I want to uh, know how much, what is this sales? Okay, basically for each category, for each subcategory. Okay? okay, how can I know? Just drag the subcategory over here. Subcategory. Now we'll be going to the granular based on this one. So if I click subcategory over here, see, we have a totally different visualization. For yeah. each subcategory, we have the sales. So previously the sales was total. Total. Now yes. it was divided for subcategory. Okay. Now if I give a category, it would be for category. If I give a state, it would be for state. Okay. okay. But granularity depends upon what you have on the visualization. If someone said there is a sales in my visualization, what does it mean? Okay. So you can't say every time it's an aggregation. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. But if it is a single sum, it would be an aggregation. If not, basing on the granularity given in the columns. Okay. Let's say if I also have subcategory -cat also over here. Okay. Now the sum of the sales would be personally different. Okay. Or let me have... Let me delete this two and have region over here. So the sales are posing a different outcome, right? This is basing on what we have inside the visualization and what are the level of granularity we are looking at, okay? okay. So this is the region sales and let's say if I want to look in, let's 
do one more thing, okay? Let's make a scatter plot, okay? There is something known as show me over here, okay? This is where it's like a cheat sheet for you, okay? Okay, okay. So if I want to create a scatter plot, there is a scatter plot over here, right? Yeah. Is, I require zero dimensions, two measures to create a scatter plot, mm. right? So yes. what I'm looking at why profit is lesser for where the sales is higher. That is the question that was given from management to me. Okay. okay. The thing is, wherever there is sales is high, but the profit is less. Okay. Why we, we need to know, are there any specific reasons for that? Okay. Just click on sales, profit, and you are able to see this was highlighted, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that's it. Now what happened? We got a single dot. Why? So every time we have an agree, we have an uh, dimension, right? What will happen? We will be having only aggregation, right? Yeah, so yeah. We look aggregated. So sales is two thirty two, profit is two ninety two. So on the level of two ninety two and sales, it has marked a single one, right? Means this is overall. But we need to remove the aggregation so that we will be able to identify for each and everything. What we need to do? Go to analysis. There is something known as aggregate measures, right? Yeah. Click on this. So now what will happen? You will be having the sales and profit for each and everything. Okay. Okay. Individually. For each and every individual point of sales, right? Yeah. How much is the profit? Here the sales has happened. 6,355. The profit is 3,177. Okay. Okay. Now what I can do is I can make profit to colors. And we can change our color also. Let's make it red, green, diverging with the step of color. So six. Okay. Apply. Okay. See the light orange and the dark red represents more losses. Okay. Okay, sir. So the green prints, which means it's a profit one, basically. Okay. So you are able to see, right? Over here, there are three major concerns. What are the concerns here? You can see the sales is 4,500, but the loss is minus 6,600. Means it is more than the sales. Yeah. The product is 4,500. Instead of the even the profit is almost right, and this is also same. The profit is the sales are high, but the profit is low. Okay, what would be the concern for the management? The concern from the management would be on three steps. Wherever which is less than two k, mostly you are able to see the profit is focused on zero to two k, right? So this need to be. Go to this area. So what we can do is we can make this area about this one as one. Okay, let me annotate. Just give me a second. Let me annotate. Okay. Okay, sir. So we can make this is one section. Okay. This is a second section. This is the third section and this is the fourth section. Okay, the concern would be for increasing the profit, increasing this less than 2K, whatever the profit that which is less than 2K, to increase from 2K to more than 3K. That is one step. The second one would be which are near to zero and close to zero, right? These which are below minus K to 2K, making them either to zero or less than increasing. one. Increasing, okay, okay. Okay, whatever these things. Why will be having more losses rather than profit, rather than our sales price? Because this would be something where we could be, be discounting, hoping a future sales, right? Yeah. Okay, there could be a samples or this could be something else or a free demo, isn't it? Yeah, 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or in yeah. the discounted version for charity, just to name, get the name and fame, yes, or for the advertisement uh, samples, right? Yes, sir. To convert these, whatever the prop, whatever this one, okay, the losses that we covered from these products need to be covered from this one, okay? This we can't escape, okay? Why? This could be something related to advertisement or something, but these losses that which we have should be covered from these three places itself. Okay? okay. Okay. That is how you can look into the aggregation. And this is how the management also looking at. So this will be converting into three parts where we can, the initial step is to make these three to go up and this step to either zero or below one K. Okay. This okay. is to be reduced from the other ones. Okay. So here we got the region dashboard. So let's make an, another dashboard within geographic area. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a new sheet. Okay, now there is a geographic area which is known as state, country, region, right? So let me take state. So where is state over here? So, sir, just to confirm, yeah. all of the tables that you have will have to download it separately, correct? From like Tableau? No, no, once you download, right, it will be getting in the Tableau repository itself. Oh, because I only have like four on each. Pardon? I only have four. I don't have like any other tables. Which tables that you have? Sorry? Which tables are you able to find? Like all of the ones that you have on yours, I only, I don't, I don't have any of them. Name them. Name them. Can you name them? Oh, I can name them. So mine are only gain item votes per dollar and measure names can you share it yeah i can share it just give me a second yeah share it yep uh you'll have to make me yeah, yeah I'm really so right here these are the only four that i see so you, you downloaded another uh, data set, Dwanit. It's a totally different data set that you have downloaded. Okay. Good oh, good. okay. Okay. So it comes with the data set. The government, uh, this one, right? You were able to see the data. Yeah, yeah. With the sheet one. Level. Go to there. Yeah. Okay. Data source, right? Data, data campaign votes and budget. That is what you have downloaded. Yeah, this is what I have downloaded. So go to data source, yeah. Okay. Go to the home. Yeah, this is this is my just my school. Uh, this what do you call it? School. So I just downloaded this. Basic on this this thing, right? That is how you can have. Yeah, okay, so when you download the data set and put it in this, the tableau. Tableau will change it accordingly, correct? Yes. Yeah. You don't require anything. Okay. This okay. Okay. That, okay. Yeah. Dimension. That's my question. You have only a couple of dimensions over here. Cost and per vote. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Sir. So you can able to see those things on green color, right? That is what yeah, I yeah. mean. The rest are blue pill. That means these are dimensions. Okay. Make a notes. You can download the data from directly from the down. Uh, even if you require that, you can directly go to Tableau Public Data Source Download. If you are unable to get that, you can download the data from there. You'll be having a number of uh, data sources openly available. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Make me know why. Yep. Thank you. I'll just I'll give you host again. Participants. Yeah. 
Yes, you're in host now. See now, I click, I just double click on state. What happened is so here. There is nothing came over here, right? There is a blank. Yes. You see my screen, right? Yes, but sir. Yes, yeah. There is something known as 59 unknown. Just click on 59 unknown. There will be something known as edit location. You can go to edit location. Now, why it is not getting? Because it is searching Alabama in India. But we don't have Alabama in India, right? So what we need to do, we need to make this country change. So make this to okay. So. Make this the United States. Uh, Alberta and British Columbia are in Canada. Yeah. So now we are able to get both the locations. Okay, now what I am doing is I am just making this as a field band, guys. Okay. So I am taking only for the United States. Okay. And what I am making the regions to colors. So what will happen from this? For each and every region, okay, we have different, different colors. Okay. Okay. Now let me remove this. Let me add this to the total basically. So we're able to see this one, right? So let me add state. Let me control the and to the labels. So you are able to see all the labels. Okay. Now what I require, I want to know what is the state sales and profit for each and every state. So what I'll do is I'll drag profit to label. Okay, and also sales to label. Now you are able to see for each and every state and region, what is the state, okay? Sorry, what is the state name and what is the region it falls into, the profit and the sales. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then we could also create another visualization using the states with a different pattern. Now we have, this is like an overall data, right? So we are looking at data based on for each and every state, region, and the sales. But let me create another visualization where it gives a different one from the map based on its size of sales and the profit color. Okay, so let me drag state again. Okay, and Make this a symbol one. That means you'll be having only one dot representing the state, not in filled map. Okay, now what I'll do is I will drag sales to size. 
the bigger the size, the bigger the sales. Okay. Dot. Okay. Okay. I can click over here and increase this. Okay. So even I can increase this a bit. Okay. Let me wait. Decrease this one. So it should not go more than this. Thing. This is enough. Yeah. Okay. Now let me drag profit to colors. See what is this mean? Okay, the more bluer it is. Okay, that means more it profit. is profitable. The yeah. which are less, which are non profitable. Okay? okay, so what we can do, you can view also diverging just like we knew, like red, green, diverging with a stepped color of let's make it as six. So apply. Okay. So the more red means it indicates it is the most loss. Okay. So yeah. this is not the most loss. Okay, which one is that? So, so sir, it. is this how like you know that COVID-19 graph, like uh, you know, country-wise, it shows how, how the big the circle if is is if okay. COVID-19 is the same thing, yes. So is, is this type of what they use to find that? Yes. Okay. It would be based on the number of population and how they recovered, right? Okay, yeah. Sorry. And my other question is like, we're just doing this for US, but what if we want to do it for multiple countries? Yeah, you can have each and every country over here. It okay, would, just have to be different sheets? Yeah, it would be. No, no, not for the separate sheet, you'll be having a single sheet itself. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, this is how it looks like. Okay, this is a symbol map and this is the filler map. Okay, and coming to the dashboards, right? We can place all these four, okay, or let me make only one map and the rest, okay, and see how the filters will be working on each and every, each, the other sheets basically. So let me drag, there are three sheets, right? So first we need to pick the size. So let me fix the size and let me make it as a full screen. Okay. Now you are able to see it's over the full screen, right? Or you can also increase if you required. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll just drag my sheets. So this is sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, sheet four. So I'll drag sheet three over here. So it takes the overall. Okay. And let me remove this color panel because I don't require, because I know these are following for each and every region, okay? And let me drag sheet two to the bottom. So now we're able to see that there is a gray area over here, right? That yeah. is where the map would be, okay? So the first map will be filling over here. I don't require this, is, this is known as color legendness, okay? I don't want this, so I'm deleting this, okay? And I haven't mentioned this, this one, right? So let me make the sheet name first, okay? What is the sheet name? What could be the sheet name? Let me add uh, Number of sales in each region. Sales by region. Sales by? Region okay, and then four apply okay. Now go to sheet two. What could be this? This one over here, sales. Um, so sir, how did you do it? How did you find out to edit the title? Like, just double click that's it, double click okay, apply okay. Let's double click on it. It will be edit or you need to go to the drop down over here and edit the title. Okay. Okay, sir. So what, yep. is the third thing, what you can do is here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's by state. Okay. I have given this, this one, the same like your Excel, right? 
I just double click and click over here. See, it sort yeah, of yeah. will make this sheet rename. Okay. Okay. And sheet. Sir, now if you look in sheet one and two, the name didn't change. Yeah, because what it is here in sheet one, we have made the title itself to be changed, right? Oh, not the sheet name. Yes. But when okay. we have sheet name changes, right? It's a mm -hmm. default that sheet name is default for the title. Okay. Okay. So if you go to sheet four, see if I double click, there is something on a sheet name. That means it's a default. If I change it over here, it will automatically change. But if I change over here, right? It won't change the sheet name. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Now, here I have given sales by state and dashboard. I can make it a sales dashboard. See, now you are able to see this one, right? Sales by state, sales versus profit. And there is a third one, which is region. So what I require, I need to have over here. Okay, this is sales by region. Now, what I want. Okay, what I will do is I will just make a simple one. Okay, first let me show the title. Okay, sales dashboard. And there is something known as filter over here. There is a funnel over here, right? I will use this funnel for filtering the data. And let me make it in a presentation. Okay, now you are able to see the presentation, right? Now, if I click on Monata, okay, mistake. See what happened over here to the other two? Everything changed, right? Just for mm -hmm. that particular one. Happening over here. So the overall sales that which we have in Monata is 5,589. But you can see there is overall contributing to the profit is less. Okay, that means overall it is near to less than 500K, right? This is yeah. something we need to look into, okay, for the management. Okay, okay. If you click on any other state. Let's click on the profitable states. Or see, like Nevada. So if you click so, on the, sir, here, you okay, have, so now it just keeps changing accordingly to whatever you select. Yes, what we have done because we have used the funnel. There is a funnel, right? Which is known as user yeah. filter. Here we have clicked on this. Okay, that is a default funnel. Now, if I remove this one. Now, if I click one, nothing will happen. But if I click on the funnel, making as use as filter. Okay, okay. And, and now let's say, uh, yeah, now let's say we want to put this in a PowerPoint or something. No, PowerPoint is certainly different. Here we are giving the user to give the access so that they will be able to look into whatever the things that they require. If they want to see on California, they will see for California. Okay. This is mm -hmm. a presentation for management where they could have their own accessibility. Okay. okay. But to make it as a PowerPoint, right? What we need to do. So we'll make it as a user story. Okay. We'll go there and drag this sales dashboard over here. Okay, now here, whatever you do, right? You'll be able to get it, but what we'll do is just give me a second. We can make another sheet, okay? Oh, let me create over here. Land one. Okay, and we can have the sheet two, sheet three, or what we can do is we can make a blank one on the top of dashboard. Okay, let me make and
and let me do one more. Okay, I'm just gonna make it blank. Go to shell dashboard. Remove the printer. Go to the storage. And drag to this one over here. So ensure that this is not working. Okay. Now you can have the PPT slides show like this. Okay, you can have all the sheets so dashboards okay but you can have only one okay either a dashboard or a sheet in your user stories Ujita? yes sir yes sir what? yes yeah no, no so sorry i forgot i was on mute uh yeah so now since i have it in this then how would i put it in let's say i want this in a powerpoint how would i put this in a powerpoint or in a web website You can export these into images or you can export into directly into PPT. These can be saved, no, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, then you can use it anywhere, Dwanath. You can directly okay. have it at all point. Okay. So, like, I can just download this and then put it in uh, my thing. Pardon? So, I can just download this, like, download this these data points and then just uh, load it into my PowerPoint. Yeah. You don't need to have the PowerPoint, just give a second. You can directly download it to, uh, you can directly have this into PowerPoint, basically. Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. So this export, right? This. So normally this export should be there, okay? This export you will be having, okay? Where you can directly export, basically. Yeah, that's the only way. Normally. Maybe we need to save, sir, first. Don't require the save. Maybe it's a public, public, right? We need to publish it. So normally I would work on publishing. So that's why I, it's, it is not exporting, okay? Okay. So you can try publishing and you can see that, okay? Okay.
and don't forget uh, any doubts guys any doubts in the session or anything that you want to know from the tab view no um, not no not yet sir but yeah for the explanation i may have a question yeah go ahead like no when i explore further into this right i may have a question okay but I, as of right now i don't have anything yeah you can uh, come back to the open sir so there are many other things like parameters filters okay clarification screens okay which are bit okay. about the topic which are not been covered okay so okay. this is for the normally it's an overview other than those things, okay